Hey, what is up everybody? Michael Alexander here and welcome back to another video here at MVP. Now in today's video, we're going to actually look a little bit into the final product when you're editing. Now, Nino did a very cool video recently about compression and how he prepares his images for social media. But today I'm going to show you guys how to export for social media and various online platforms and why we do it this way. So if you ever exported your image and then the moment you upload it to Instagram, it suddenly looks a little bit different. Now there is a reason for that. And that has got to do with the way the online platform or the social media platform uh, sees color. Now we are going to be exporting this image right here and I'll show you guys my settings for exporting for social media. Now obviously you go to export and say export as. All right, and you're going to be greeted with the export as tab that you see right here. Now it's sometimes going to ask you to be on PNG, but just switch it over to JPEG. Now we're going to change that color shifting issue with one click. And that is down here by color space. Now, maybe yours is already set up for that. If not, I would definitely recommend clicking on convert to sRGB because sometimes you're busy working in Adobe RGB or ProRes or any of the other, you know, color spaces natively in Photoshop and you're working within that color spaces frame. And then when you export it, a lot of websites use sRGB and the two don't see color the same way. So most often when you're seeing a color shift from your social media to your Photoshop, and that is because you're actually seeing the interpretation of the social media's um, way of seeing your Adobe RGB or you know your ProRes or whatever color space you're using and it's converting it to sRGB. So I highly recommend you do that in Photoshop because it's gonna do a way better job and it's gonna be a lot more accurate. If you still prefer working in Adobe RGB, you can still say embed color profile and that is still going to embed, you know, the Adobe RGB or whatever other color profile you've been working on. So that is a quick and easy way to solve your color shifting issue. But that is it for today's video, guys. In future videos, I'm going to show you guys um, how to prep your images for social media, you know, sharpening and, you know, color adjustment and all of that for social media and other web uses. But for today, I'm just going to show you guys maybe this is the reason. Um, you are seeing a bit of a color shift. Maybe, you know, you are looking for a solution. This is the one that I found solved the issue when I had that problem back when. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a nice and short one. So I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below and tell us what you want to see in future videos. But that is it for now, guys. Bye bye. <laughs>